Hey guys, it's week two, so it's time to get this grid status indicator installed. We're going to be putting that just above the changeover switch there. So guys, if you have not seen part one, go and give it a watch on the screen there and then come back. But while you're doing that, let's get cracking with this. Let's get the cover off. And what I'm going to do is attach this to the top and then I'm going to have the cable coming in to the grid side. But in order to do this, we need to isolate the mains. Right, so the grid's off. As you can see, just here, I've fixed the switch to the top of the changeover and now I'm ready to wire into the grid side. I've actually got backup power coming through so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to do the wiring up off camera so I can concentrate because the right hand side of this is live, the left hand side is actually safe. So I need full concentration. Finally all wired in there so you can see the live and the neutral hooked up to the grid and this goes to this switch. Well everything's put back together so exciting times now, let's test it. So let's simulate a power outage, switch the power off, I've got a torch here, there we go. Let's go over to backup supply and then we switch the grid indicator on. So when the grid eventually comes back on, we get alerted. So this is just to save your battery bank when your neighbours have all got power back and you're sat on your couch watching the TV. A normal operation, you just switch off. So we go back to the grid now. As easy as that. Well anyway guys, thanks for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you fancy it. And I'll see you next week.